Oh, it's been a while since I did one of these tutorials. And today we're going to create this awesome giant shoe Photoshop manipulation. You can find the images that are used in the description of the video, download them and just follow along and you will create the same artwork. You can even use your own images if you want. Just follow my steps because I'm going to give you some tips through this tutorial to make sure your Photoshop design looks realistic. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to check out my Photoshop digital art course where I have a lot of modules to create different artworks. This is made for beginners. If you are just starting out, these are perfect for you to get started to Photoshop and create awesome artworks right away. So let's get into this video and start creating this awesome artwork. All right, let's start working in Photoshop. This artwork only has two images, a background and the shoe. So let's first drag our background into Photoshop. I'm going to leave the size as it is. I'm just going to use it like this. Now, when you press Command R or Control R, you can bring up these guidelines. And when you take your mouse and you click there, you can drag this. The reason why I'm dragging this here is because I want to define where the horizon is. This way we can make this look realistic. So first of all, I'm going to place this line at the horizon, just like that. So it's somewhere there. And that is exactly what I need to know for this. The next step is to add our shoe. So I'm going to drag the shoe in this image. And now I'm going to place it somewhere where the horizon of the shoe should be. So the best way to check this is to look at where the center is of the photo from where is the photo taken. I think probably somewhere here. You can see here it goes a bit down and here it goes a bit up already. So it's probably somewhere in the center like that. And when we place it like that on this line, it will look a lot more realistic than just randomly placing it like this or like this, right? So when you get this right, you will make really realistic artworks. All right, let's make it a bit smaller here so we have some space around it. And I'm going to place it like that. I think this is fine. Now, the next thing that we could do with this, maybe slightly higher and a bit smaller. Now, the next thing that we need to do with this is to change the lighting and change the color and draw some shadows. And that's pretty much it. So we don't have to do a lot. So now I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to make sure the layer is behind the shoe or under the shoe actually. And now I'm going to go to my brushes, which you can find here, the brush tool. And with the settings of the brushes, I'm going to select the soft run general brush. And this one I'm going to make like that. So it's like more flat. Now for the flow, I'm going to go for a really low flow, like 5%. And then I'm going to select a color. So when I click on the color here, I will sample a color from this road. So not the white area, just this kind of gray bluish area. And then I will take this slider and move it down. So I have a really dark version of this blue. Let's click OK. And here I will change the blend mode to multiply. And now we can start brushing. So let's make the brush a bit smaller here. And first of all, let's brush the center here. This is where the area where the shoe is touching the ground. So that area should be pretty dark. Here, the shoe goes a little bit up. So you want to make sure there's some space here left. So you don't want to brush like there, but you want to brush a bit underneath it, right? So you can make the brush a bit bigger there, like that. Let's make the brush again smaller. And these areas, I'm going to make all dark because this is the area where the shoe is going to touch the, the floor and there it's going to be dark. Here you can see it goes a little bit up here, so we can brush it like that. You can see the shadow is touching it here, but here we have some more space, so it's not touching it there. And these areas also kind of touching the floor, so I'm going to brush those darker like that. Also here. And we already have some shadows here. Now let's make the brush big. I'm going to brush a bit more here to get a bit more shadow on this side. Let me zoom out here. Just like that. And you can already see it looks a lot better with the shadow. Let's compare. Before we had this, now we have this, we have a shadow. I'm going to drop the opacity just a little bit, like 90, to make this more realistic. Maybe brush a bit more. And you can also brush a bit on the front here. Let's drop the flow here to 3. 
I'm gonna brush it there. So we have a darker area at the front. All right, that's it for now for the shadows. Let's now work on the shoe. First of all, I wanna change the color a bit because the color doesn't match this background image. So I wanna change the color of the shoe and not the background image. So let's first click on the shoe layer and then go here. And let's select hue and saturation. Here we can change the colors. Make sure you press this icon so we only affect the shoe. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the saturation first. Let's say minus 23. And I'm also gonna change the hue a bit because I feel like when we move it a bit to the left, it blends better with this image, more like kind of this red. And that's it for the hue and saturation. All right, let's move on. Now we can work on the lighting because the lighting we need to change. You can see this shoe is like really white. We don't have really these white tones in this image. When you look at the sky, it's more kind of grayish. So I wanna change the, the lighting a bit. Also, you can see here this road, it's not as white as the shoe. So you wanna match that. Let's add a curves here. And with the curves, I'm gonna change the lighting. And make sure to press this again so we only affect the shoe and not the background. And I'm gonna take the mid-tones here, kind of move them a bit down here. So these are the gray tones, but the blacks I'm gonna move up. So we have a bit more grayish kind of tones like the background. You can already see it looks a lot better now. Let's take the highlights and move them also down to kind of get the same white as the road. You can see here, you can use this as a guideline, this road sign here. It's more kind of grayish white. So I wanna have kind of the same gray probably somewhere like that. And that's it for now for this one. Now, the next thing I would like to add to this is I wanna add some lighting. I feel like the shoe is too dark, but for this setting, it probably would be as dark as this, but it's kind of boring because the street is like in the shadow and you can see here, the sun is here reflecting. So the sun is somewhere coming from there. You can also see it on this. Let me disable this for now. You can see the shadow here goes that way. So the sun is somewhere there up on the right side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some lighting. Let's create a new layer and let's take a brush. Let's make the shirt the color is white and let's make the shape normal again. Then I'm gonna make this bigger. Don't forget to increase the flow again to 100. I'm gonna make a dot like that. And when I take the move tool here, I can move this dot to the top and let's press Control or Command T to bring up the free transform. And then I'm gonna stretch my corner out so I have more like a light beam. Let's make this also bigger. Just a little bit of sun coming from there. That way we can really make this look more realistic. So we have sun there. You can slightly drop the opacity here. And now let's go back to our layer and I'm gonna add an exposure layer. So let's go to here. And let's select exposure. Make sure to press this again so you only affect the shoe and not the background. And I'm gonna increase the exposure a little bit here like that. You can see here this looks a bit better. But I don't wanna apply this to the whole shoe. I wanna apply it just to the top. So I'm gonna increase it even more like that. And I'm gonna click on the mask here and press Ctrl I to get rid of it. Now, if I use a normal brush, just a soft round brush, I can brush some areas. Make sure you have white selected and now let's make the brush smaller. And I'm gonna brush the top part like that. And that way we create some shadows and some highlights here on our shoe because our sun is coming from there. So this top part would be a little bit lighter. Let's keep that dark, just the top part like that. Now you can see this blends a lot better in this image. All right, that's it for the lighting. I'm gonna also add a little bit of more shadow here at the bottom. I feel like this area here is slightly too light. So let's create a new layer, then go to edit and select fill. Make sure you have 50% gray selected, press okay. Change the blend mode to overlay. And now let's take the burn tool, which you can find here. And I'm gonna go for a really low kind of exposure, let's say maybe 15 at the range for mid-tones. 
and let's make the part small. I'm going to brush just a little bit here. I think this is even too much. Let me go back a bit. I'm going to drop it under 10, maybe 6. And I'm just going to slightly brush a bit of these areas. I feel like this makes it look more real. You see here it's a bit darker, maybe it's slightly too dark. So let's drop the opacity here to 50%. And that's pretty much it for this one. And we can now just change the lighting, everything in the colors because we blended this background with the shoe. So the colors and the lighting are okay now. And if you want to have more colors or more kind of lighter area, you can now create a new curves on top of this. And here you can change the lighting and it will apply to everything because we already blended this together. So if you want to have more contrast, you can do this, for instance, you have like this kind of shoe. If you want to have more colors, you can add a, let's see, color lookup here and select tree strip, for instance, and this will give a lot more colors. Maybe I will just simply adjust this slightly like that to look at my, to make it look more real. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to check out my other videos. Until then, catch you on the next video.